Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for mid-August to mid-September and this will not resonate with all of you so take what resonates, leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there is more information or more guidance or clarity in those for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here and if you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back and checking me out. We're going to start out with three, uh, there's one of them, three cards, and they'll be general, and then we'll start out with uh, cards for health, wealth, career, and love. We have the three of wands. Good gracious, they're all falling. Everybody's talking. King of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Sagittarius, beautiful, beautiful energies. Three of Wands talks about, since it's in the middle, this is what's more most prominent, taking action on a situation, moving forward in it, making a, your mind up and going. Um, kind of like if you've set a lot of resumes out, you're waiting to hear back from. You've already set something in motion and you're waiting to hear back from it. You know, this one's kind of like waiting for their ship to come back in or waiting for somebody to come back, some type of uh, communication to come back in. So whatever it is that you've done, you've you've already set it into motion and you're waiting. You're waiting for it to come back in. We have the King of Pentacles. This talks about money. You could be getting a promotion, a raise. Maybe you're waiting to hear about a promotion or a raise or something from work that is going to... Um, be more financially stable and financially lucrative for you. You could be changing positions. You could be, again, seeking promotion, raise, waiting, waiting to hear, wanting to be more stable, wanting to be more, not only financially stable, but I think more stable. Like, um, you know, maybe wanting to start a family or a house or uh, wanting to put your roots down is what I feel with the King of Pentacles. And then we have the Nine of Cups. So this is a beautiful card of wishes. It's a beautiful card of contentment also. Um, also to see how far you've come. And then gauge where you want to go with this. Um, you know, you, you've you done a lot. Kind of not not brag on yourself, but revel in your accomplishments, really. And I think it goes really well with the King of Wands, or sorry, Pentacles, especially if you're trying to sell yourself, right? Don't sell yourself short. Really, really put it out there. Really, this is what I did, and I can do this, and I can do that. Really, really, really um, show whoever it is that needs to see what you're made of, right? And this is, you know... A card it can be a card like a patting yourself on the back but it's also a card of um, looking how far you've come and and being very content at where you're at and very proud of yourself you know and there's nothing wrong with that all right we're gonna take a look at health we have uh, temperance so you could be um, you could be figuring something out with your health. There could be something going on. You could be trying to, I feel this, it, to me, temperance is bringing something in balance. Um, maybe it's like trying to get your blood pressure under control or trying to get your sugar under control or trying to get something, and, you know, you have that balance. You have that that play area where you're trying to trying to get something to uh, mix or, or get, you know, together. Um, so it could be taking action on, I mean, obviously you're taking action on it, but it, it's, it's like a tweaking. Maybe it's, maybe you're on a medication and they're, they're checking it and changing it and tweaking it. So have patience with that. Have patience. Know that it's um, a formulation that they have to do. And this is your card, Sagittarius. Um, this is your card in the Zodiac is, um, or in the Zodiac. Sagittarius's card is temperance. So you're showing up in your reading under health. So pay extra attention to it and put in the work and have patience that everything is going to, um, you know, get mixed the way it should, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And they'll figure out the right formulations for whatever it is that needs to be um, tweaked or formulated or uh, seen about. Again, I feel like it's a blood thing where you have to go in and have your blood taken every so often. 
Um, we have the sun for wealth, so that's money. It's doing really well. Again, that king of pentacles, um, you know, new beginnings, dawn of a new day. So you could have new money coming in. You could be getting new hits on things. You could be getting new ideas about how to make money. The sun's a beautiful card of Leo. It's a card of growth and, um, you know, strength. And having to do with wealth, I just see it as a, a absolutely beautiful kind of, you know, there's a sun there, uh, compliment to, to that card there. Um, shine is what I hear, shine. It's almost like, you know, like I said, to sell yourself, show all your accomplishments, shine, toot your own horn, right? Show others what you got, what you can do. We have work. Nine of Swords. Interesting. Um, now, it could be the work that you're doing right now. You feel stressed and anxious and worry over it now. And it can also, excuse me, be wherever, if you're putting in for a new job or a new position or waiting to hear. There's worry and stress and anxiety going on. But it's almost over. Nine is a completion. Um, the cycle's almost ended. Ten is a completion or an ending. So know that it's almost ending and to try to take your mind off of things. Try to shift your thoughts, shift your fear, fish, switch your worry. It's almost like you're overthinking things and thinking, what if, what if that doesn't happen? What if this doesn't happen? What if, what if, what if? Instead of kind of going with the flow and, and just getting out of your head for a while. And love, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So if you are single, you're ready to take a gamble. You're ready to put yourself out there. You're ready to see who and what's out there for you. And if you are um, in a relationship, maybe you're ready to um, shift the energies, shift what is going on. Maybe, um, you know, try something different as far as, you could be moving or you could be maybe wanting to start a family because I did feel strongly with that with the King of Pentacles putting down the roots. You could be shifting that kind of energy into, um, you know, again, starting something new, taking a gamble, taking a chance on something. Uh, it could be a, a house. It could be a family. It could be um, a person if you, you're single and if you are with somebody it could just be, um, you know, taking a chance to take something to the next level, even if you're in a relationship, uh, maybe buy a house or maybe start a family or maybe, um, you know, just, just be exclusive or whatever, kind of putting yourself out there. Either way, the energy is shifting. Either way, there's a, is, um, is an uptick in the energy in a good way for you. As I say, Lady Luck is smiling on you. So take advantage of the situation for whatever it is that presents. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the star card. This is subconscious. This is your wishes, your dreams, your um, what you want to manifest is the star. And it is a card of Aquarius. And it is a card of talking about don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your wishes. Know that they're there, right? They will come true. Just hold tight to them. And I feel since it's a subconscious card and not on the board, so to speak, that or didn't turn up on the board, that it's something that you keep very private to yourself. And I feel like this coordinates really well with your work card. It's like whatever it is that you want to manifest, whatever it is you, you desire and you dream is tied into the work. So it's like if it goes one way, this can happen. If it doesn't go this way, it won't happen. So I have a feeling like something's tied into that. You'll have to let me know if that is true or not. All right, we're gonna see what energy is gonna be on the back burner for you this month, Sagittarius. What energy is going to be on the back burner for you? I drop all the cards. All right, doesn't mean it won't, it's leaving like completely for the month, but it's just not gonna be as prominent as may, maybe it once was. What energy is going to 
be in the background for Sagittarius leadership. Hmm. Well, I just feel, you know, interesting on the back burner. Won't be very prominent for you this month. Um, if you're up for a raise, up for a promotion, up for some type of leadership quality, it could just be where this is saying, don't try to control the situation. Let the situation unfold itself is what I feel. Um, that you do possess leadership qualities with a bear there and there's a star. There's your, there's your dreams and your wishes. But right now it's not in your hands. It's out of your hands. So let the universe, let things unfold the way they should be. As it's as it will be as it will turn out and what energy is prominent or is coming in for Sagittarius this month all right they're telling me to read out of the book on this so I better listen <sighs> leadership there, so there's something in here in the physical book that you need to hear. This is called North Star. In Western culture, we wish upon a star because the star represents all that is illuminating and enchanting. All that is illuminating and enchanting. I already read that. This symbolizes aspiration, illumination, inspiration, imagination, and wonder. Native people use the stars to find their way in the night. The North Star has often used a as was often used as a kind of compass to make sure one was going in the right direction. The North Star symbolizes direction and guidance. It is a guiding light for those who can't find their way. It's one of the brightest stars in the constellation. Just as the North Star is a beacon for travelers in the dark of the night, you are a beacon for others. That's where the sun card comes in, right? It's time to step into the light and take your leadership role. You are a teacher, steward, guardian, and healer, a true leader. One, um, own these gifts, come into the light, don't hold back, let the world see your light. The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve and act as stepping stones for others to reach their dreams. If you have been hiding in the background, it's time to break out and become the light for others. Through this, your star shines brighter. So... Maybe since this is the energy that's pulling away, maybe that is your cue to um, to not let it pull away. Maybe that's your cue to, again, step up and, and show who you are and what you are. Um, I just feel like you can do that without... You know, take. I, I almost feel like you don't. You're not going to have the opportunity to take the lead right now. But you, you're going to have to figure out different ways in order to show. That's so what I said with all this to show how you can shine and to kind of toot your own horn, right? So maybe, maybe the opportunity to showcase all that has passed. So you're going to have to figure out how to keep on um, putting it in there, like. Um, you know, email the company or email the people to see if they've reached any decision or something like that without um, being able to showcase yourself right now because, again, you're waiting on an outcome. But again, don't give up hope. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. I like how this one's looking with fear and then this is, there's a star and that could very well be the star in, in the midst of all that. All right, what energy is coming in for Sagittarius? Security, yeah. Strength and security, definitely. That is what you're after with the, with the, uh, whatever you're pursuing, the extra money, the, the leadership, the promotion, the security, safety, security. Again, some place to call your own, some place that you're safe, some place that you're secure. And I almost feel like uh, getting back to basics too. 
You are safe and protected no matter what is occurring in your life. You are in safe hands. Those in the spirit, spirit, those in the realm of spirit are watching over you. You can relax and let go. Once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in the car, making sure your insurance is paid, or replacing the filter on your heating unit, then let go. If you have been hypervigilant lately, take a break, relax, know that all is well. You can turn it all over to the Creator. That's exactly what I said with the leadership part. That's why they had me read out of the book, just to show that everything tied in together. You know, you've put it all out there. Now you have to just wait. It doesn't mean you're not a leader. It just means that you right now don't have to prove yourself. You don't have to show yourself right now because you already did. Right? And you're safe. You're secure. Just just let it, let it be. Let it unfold as it should. You have to let me know, Sagittarius. I'm so curious. Beautiful reading, though. One more oracle card for you. Hesitation. Perplexity, decision, caution, hesitation. Interesting. Um, I just feel that this card can be talking about, you know, the decision that you're making it goes back to this card, beating yourself up over it. You know, the worry and anxiety. Um, did I do it right? Should I have done it right? And again, I just feel like whatever, whatever it is you've done, whatever it is you've presented, whatever it is you've interviewed for or moved on has been done. And now it's just a waiting game. So it's almost like she's just kind of hanging on there and just waiting to see. She's kind of kicked back. So just wait. Um, take a break, you know, take that pause, um, and don't, and, you know, kind of quit overthinking things, quit overthinking things, quit, or try to get your mind off of things, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, obviously, but try to get your mind off of things, and, um, maybe then the overthinking, and the, um, you know, that feeling like you need to pause, or you need to hesitate, or you need to, uh, gosh, overthink things. Did I do the right thing? Did I not do the right thing? You know, don't let doubt come in. Don't let doubt play a huge role. If there's some type of um, proposition that comes out of this, if there's some type of, you know, negotiation, don't hesitate too long. I think, it, I think this is giving you the time to know what you want because you have this pause here with the Three of Wands. You're waiting. Know that know what you want and know when it's presented don't hesitate you know if this is what you want if this is what you want to manifest don't hesitate let it come in let it let it be all right Whew. good luck to you guys remember your star card your dreams your wishes your hopes they're all right here don't give up on it Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Uh, please know that I put out readings on the first of the month for love. I put out singles and committed. So check those out. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss those. Um, and these come out mid-month around the 15th. So again, I will see you mid-September. Oh, can you believe that? Mid-September to mid-October, guys. Sagittarius, be blessed. Stay healthy. Until next time, bye for now.